channel. Today I am doing this look for you guys. And as you can tell, I went a little bit out of my comfort zone again for the second video in a row. I tried for the very first time in my life, I tried a cut crease, like a legit cut crease. So let me know down below if you think that I successfully did a cut eye, a cut crease, that's what I meant. And yeah, I'm so excited for this video. At first I was just going to use a Jaclyn Hill palette on the eyes, but then I was just like, I have her everything she's created. So this video is basically all Jaclyn Hill stuff. I used her new palette, I used her face palette, and I used some of her lipsticks that she created. So if you'd like to know how to get this look, you better keep on watching. Yeah, I also tried a new foundation and a brand new concealer. So, if you want to see my impressions of those directly on camera, then also be sure to keep on watching. Alright guys, I'll see you in a bit with a bare and naked face to get on with this fun and colorful makeup look. Bye guys. Alright guys, so the very first thing we're going to do, we're going to just go ahead and start with the eyes. So, like I said at the beginning, we're using the Jaclyn Hill palette again, and every single color on my eyes comes from this. So, let's jump straight into it. And the first thing I have to do is prime my eyes. Alright, so for my primer today, I'm using this NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Actually, you know what? Since my eyes are like dark, because <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to sleep much lately, don't ask me why, because I don't know. I'm going to use something that helps lighten these up. So, on that note, I am going to go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Now I'm going to set all that primer in place and I'm going to use the Kat Von D Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just going to press it on with my Eco Tools Large Eye Brush. Make sure this is all set before we go in with our shadows. I think we are all set. We're going to go in with this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. <sighs> I love this palette so much. So, I got something a little fun that I haven't, I don't think I've ever done something like this before. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out all right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start off with this Sigma E40 brush, and I'm going to take the color Butter, which is on the second row, second color right here, and I'm going to take this on inside my crease, like, like actually above my crease. So above my crease, inner corner to outer corner. So this color butter works as a perfect transition shade. So now I'm going to go in with our next color. So I am going to take the color mocha, which is this last color on the fourth row, and I'm going to take my Eco Tools uh, angled crease, angled crease brush, <laughs> and I'm just going to take this back in my crease and kind of deepen it up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to kind of blend this line out a little bit more. I'm going to take the colors Creamsicle, which is this one right here, 
and mix it with the color Pukey, which is this shade right to here. And I am going to use this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Now I'll be taking the color Chip and the color right below it, Soda Pop. And I'll be mixing them together on my Morphe E17 brush and just applying this on the outer third of my eye. Okay, now here's where things get a little bit interesting. Okay, so I'm going to do really my first attempt of a true cut crease. So first I'm going to kind of mark out my edges or you know where I want the cut crease to go. I am going to do that using this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer and this is in light medium. And I'm going to use the brush, this actually came in the Urban Decay Electric Palette, so I'm actually gonna use it. Load the concealer on my brush. Now since I did the carving, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the color Pool Party right here with my Sigma E55 brush and just place it on top of that carving out that we just did. I'm literally just placing pool party where that concealer was. I'm not going any above it, like that's the important part. Making sure I'm not going like into that crease and above it, because then it, it kind of takes the whole like cut crease thing away. All right, so now I kind of got to uh, smoke out that line, so it's not all like straight. I'm going to take the color directly next to it, Jada, and I'm going to use my Mary Kay Eye Crease Brush. I'm taking just a little bit of Jada, and I'm just going to pat it over that line to try to. Mix those colors together. I'm not really like blending it out. I'm just patting. Okay, so going in with the same exact brush, I'm going to take a very small amount of the color twerk, which is this kind of bright blue, and I'm going to mix it with Soda Pop and Abyss. So this is going to be a three color combination. Twerk. Soda Pop Abyss. Very little of these two, kind of a little bit more of that. I want to get that dark, like, blue. Alright, I think this look needs some glitter. <laughs> glitter. Glitter. So, when I do glitter, I always use this Too Faced Shadow Too Faced. Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. And I'm just going to put this glitter glue on top of the blue. I'm going to take this glitter, and I don't know where I got it. I'm going to take this blue glitter that's on top, and I am going to apply this using my Morphe G15 brush. Ooh. Ooh. I do like that glitter on top. So now that we're glittered, <laughs> I'm going to kind of clean up this under eye with all this glitter. And I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to do this. Since my winged liner is now on, I think that really helped the look. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara. Then I'll zoom you guys out and we'll do our face and then come back to our eyes, you know, do the lashes, the 
eyebrows, highlight, I'll do all that stuff later. So for my lashes, I am using the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. I really like this mascara. Okay, so now that I got my mascara on, I'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit and we're going to get to the face. <laughs> okay, so now that we're zoomed out and you can see more of my face, let's obviously start first by priming the face. <laughs> so to prime my face, I've been using this one a lot lately. This is the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. Okay, so now that we're primed, I am going to try a new foundation for you guys, one that's still in the box. If you watch me on Snapchat, you guys should know exactly what I'm talking about. I am using this Tarte Play Stick Foundation, and I'm using the shade Medium Sun. No, this is my first stick foundation. I'm so excited to try it out. One of the reasons why I was looking forward to getting this and trying it is because it is made with Amazonian clay and that actually really helps like balance your skin and that is exactly what I need with my skin because it's all out of balance. It's okay. Not really. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and apply this all over my face. Oh, that glide on so smooth. So, first impression of just putting this on, holy balls, that glided on so smooth and it feels so nice on my skin. So far, I like this. And I see so many people when they use this, they go in with a beauty blender. So I'm going to blend this out with a beauty blender. That actually matches my skin tone pretty well. Sweet. Okay, so now we're going on to my concealer to also conceal my face and highlight the high points using another new product. Again, if you watch me on Snapchat, you guys know exactly what it is already. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer from their Double Duty Beauty Collection. So I got this in light sand. Again, I have no idea if this is the right shade for me, but we'll see. And just like the foundation, I'm going to blend this out with my beauty blender. Now that we got that all blended out and I think it looks absolutely beautiful on my skin, I'm going to go set it all and I'm using the same shedding powder I used on my lids. So now that we're baking, I feel like now is a good time to go and do my eyebrows. I'm going to go in and use the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. One brow down, one to go. <laughs> so, now that eyebrows are done, 
I am going to take away the powder from our baking. And you guys know, you guys know Elf Powder Brush. And I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit Light to Medium. And just like my last video, I'm honestly just going to mix all three of these guys together and go to town. Okay, so now it's time for blush. And you know, I'm feeling very Jaclyn Hilly today. So, I'm going to continue using her stuff. This is the Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics Face Palette. Yes, I'm going to go use this middle color right here, Amaretto. And to apply my blush, I'm actually going in with this Real Techniques Blush Brush, number 300. So now for my highlight, I am going to mix Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop together. So to apply that highlighter, I am taking my Sigma F35 brush. So now I'm going to finish up my Laurel Lash Line. I'm going to take the Sephora Pro Smoky Liner Brush in 24. And I'm going to take that same mixture we did on the outer corner, which was Twerk right here, Soda Pop, and Abyss. And I'm going to put that on the outer half of my lid. I said on my lid, I meant on my Laurel Lash Line. So my camera turned off on me again. On the inner half of my eye, I'm taking Pool Party again and using this Sigma E30 pencil brush. Now it's time to highlight the inner corner and I'm going to take a mixture of and light and beam, mix them together and I'll apply it to my inner corner using the Real Techniques smudge brush. Okay, so for my Brow bone highlight, I am going to take the color Obsessed right here and mix it with the color Silk Cream. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Face, face Shadow Brush. And I'm going to flip the brush over and take a little bit of Just Obsessed and put that on top of it to get a little bit more of a, like a, a highlighted look. So I'm going to hop off camera real quick and I'm going to put the mascara on my lower lashes and I'm still going to be using that Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I'll also go ahead and put on my false lashes. I'll be using these babies right here. This is the House of Lashes lashes in the style iconic. So I will be right back with those two things done and then we'll finish it up and be done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and my lashes are on, mascara is on, and I actually, while I was waiting for the glue to dry, I did take my airspun powder in the Real Techniques brush, or not Real Techniques blush, this Real Techniques uh, blending sponge, it's dry, and I used this flat edge to carve out my contour a little bit more, but now that's all done, so I am going to go in finish this off with my lips and I'm actually going to continue using Jaclyn Hill products or things that she made the so I'm going to use these two lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics and I'm going to be using the color 1995 as well as the color buttercup so I'm going to take 1995 first I'm going to put this on the outer corners This is cute. Now I'm going to take the color Buttercup and I'm going to put that in the center of my lips. I like that color combination actually. 
Wasn't too sure about it, TBH, before I started, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. So now to finish this off, I'm going to set my entire face. And to do that, I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. So that is it. We're done <laughs> with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did go out, you know, I tried some new things with this little gl blue cut crease thing going on. Never done that before. And I also found out that I really like this lipstick mix thing. And yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. Jack on Hill, thank you so much for blessing us with these amazing products. That palette, those lipsticks, the face palette, all of them. I was really feeling it all today. So everything is all Jack on Hill, basically. So Jacqueline, all you gotta do is create, you know, some foundations, concealers, and eyebrow stuff. Oh, and lashes. And mascara. And eyeliner. And I'll do a full face of Jacqueline Hill stuff. But yeah, so that is it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>